Another large storm will be coming to the United States over the next couple of days, and this is going to pose another risk for severe weather, which will begin today in the upper Midwest and the Northern Plains, eventually trickling down into parts of the Midwest and eventually into the Ohio Valley. So in today's forecast, we're going to break down everything that you need to know about this storm and why significant severe weather will be a possibility every day for the next three days. We're going to begin, though, with what's happening right now across the United States, which this is the infrared imagery from earlier this this morning. Notice right now we do have a low pressure system that's exiting the United States. Only a few showers remain on the immediate east coast back over in the mid-Atlantic region and New England. We had a tornado risk yesterday, which is a very rare one. We had a 10% tornado risk for the first time in six years. Did it pan out as a 10% tornado risk? Not really. We had maybe one or two brief tornadoes, and that is about it, which is really good news. Luckily, yesterday did not perform as high as it was forecasted to perform. But overall, all that activity shifting offshore, we're going to be done talking about that no later than this morning. Back over in the southeast, things looking relatively quiet. No tropical systems right now developing in either the Gulf or even back over in the Atlantic Ocean. Back over in the northern plains, we actually have some pretty big thunderstorms from last night that are simmering down this morning in Minnesota. Those are the storms that actually were really significant back over in Saskatchewan, Canada yesterday. We actually had a few storms that were really rotating, really primed environment for tornadoes, and that same environment will move into the Midwest over the next really 48 hours both today and tomorrow, posing the risk for some severe weather over the next couple of days. Over the next few days, we are going to start to see more and more severe weather once again in the Midwest, the Northern and Central Plains, and eventually even into the Ohio Valley once we get closer to Wednesday. For today, we do have a large slight risk for severe weather, and I do want to go ahead and prerequisite this right off the bat, is that there is going to be a potential for this to get upgraded at some time today to an enhanced risk, mainly for the wind threat. Now, today's threat of severe weather is extremely conditional, but today's environment is insane. I mean, we have insane instability values across Minnesota today and even Iowa, where if any storms do develop, it is an extremely primed environment for very large hail, damaging winds, and even tornadoes. But really, the biggest question mark is if storms will even fire up, because there will be some morning convection, which is already moving through, that should stabilize the atmosphere. We're also going to have a capping issue later today, so there's a lot of problems with today's severe weather setup. But if any storms can develop, they could be destroyed and those ones would be able to produce the most significant threat for severe weather. With all that said, we do have a slight risk again across much of the upper Midwest and even back closer to Illinois. Marginal threat outside of that, which goes back into Nebraska and even near Kansas City. Main concern in the marginal threat will be wind and hail. Tornado risk will be a bit more elevated here in Minnesota, Iowa, and even parts of Wisconsin. Small marginal threat as well in the Carolinas. That's going to be the exiting system with mainly a threat for some wind and hail. Here's the wind concern for today, and notice we do have a hatched area that is going to be where we're watching for the potential for storms to produce damaging winds that exceed 70 miles per hour. So there will be a potential for flying trampolines. Make sure that you are hatching down your trampolines for today and protecting loose line items. The significant hail threat as well will be across parts of western Minnesota and northwestern Iowa, where we could see some hailstones exceeding three inches in diameter today. The tornado risk for right now is a large 2% tornado risk across most of Minnesota into a small sliver of western Wisconsin and eastern North Dakota. I wouldn't rule out a brief tornado somewhere down in here, even in very far northern Iowa, but I think the risk overall should remain low. By the time we go into tossing trampolines on Tacos Tuesday, all of this shifts down to the south where a more significant severe weather threat will also exist across the Midwest, Central Plains, and back into parts of the Ohio Valley. Right now, it's just a large slight risk across parts of Michigan and Indiana back into Nebraska. Wouldn't rule out, though, this growing a bit more in size, maybe a bit further down to the south, where hail and wind will be the main concerns. There will be a chance for an isolated tornado as well. We'll talk about that here in just a second. Here's the wind threat. So again, pretty generic for tomorrow. And the same thing with the hail threat, pretty generic. Once we go into the tornado risk, it's going to be a pretty narrow corridor from Michigan and northern Indiana back into eastern Nebraska. I wouldn't be surprised if this also expands a bit further down to the south in a, um, you know, maybe a future outlook. But overall, the threat for tornadoes does still appear to be low for Tuesday, but it's definitely not zero. And then once we go into Wednesday, that severe weather risk will shift into parts of the Ohio Valley, and we'll talk more about that here in just a second.
Now, today's severe weather setup is really crazy, and I don't usually talk about the severe weather setups very often for slight risks for severe weather, but it's a really conditional risk. But this is the instability later today in the atmosphere across parts of Minnesota and even Iowa. Look at these values. These are values that you just don't see very often. We're talking upwards of five to 6,000 joules per kilogram, which is a very unstable atmosphere across much of Minnesota, much of Iowa, even back into North Dakota and South Dakota. Dakota, the instability is off the charts. So we have a very unstable atmosphere today, but again, capping could be an issue later today. Here's the tornado parameter values as well. Notice how they explode in parts of Southern uh, Minnesota today. Again, it's gonna be very contingent on there actually being a storm that fires in here for that tornado risk to very, really be used up. But I think overall across the board today, even with those values being that high, I still think today's tornado risk is gonna be pretty conditional across Minnesota. Here's the future radar. So showers will move through this morning all the way through the afternoon. This is expected to stabilize the atmosphere for the bulk of the afternoon across Minnesota, but I would expect some sort of cluster of storms to try to initiate in southern Minnesota sometime this afternoon. When that happens is uncertain, but it will probably be sometime during the mid to late afternoon. The main concern with this will be wind, hail, and then also an isolated tornado or two. We could see some more initiation as well after sunset once the dew point does come closer to the temperature across parts of central and northern Minnesota. The main concern out of that activity would also be a wind and hail threat. We could see some more of a, a convection also develop back over in South Dakota, but again, that'll be mostly just a wind and hail threat as well. Back over in the Midwest for today, storms will try to move into northeastern Iowa and southern Wisconsin. How long this segment of storms lasts also is questionable, and if it even develops is also questionable, but if it does continue, it'll be mostly wind into the Midwest. Eventually overnight tonight, storms will continue across Wisconsin. Tomorrow morning looks like a pretty stormy one across much of the Midwest a narrow corridor for wind, hail, and maybe even an isolated tornado or two. By the afternoon hours, that'll be our better shot for severe weather across parts of Iowa and western Illinois. Any discrete cells could produce a more elevated threat for both hail, wind, and tornadoes. By the late afternoon hours, storms will continue to fire up along this entire area from western Iowa back into southern Wisconsin, where more severe weather will be a possibility in the afternoon. Could even see some initiation in central and southern Illinois, where I would not be surprised if there is an expansion to that slight risk for hail in those areas. Now, once we go into Wednesday, things start to move further to the east. Here's your instability access across parts of the Ohio Valley and really mainly southern Indiana back into Kentucky and, and as well as Tennessee. We'll have the best shot for severe weather on Wednesday as that is where the greatest amount of instability will be. And I think we'll have at least some supercellular initiation there. The tornado parameter values do not look super impressive. I don't think the environment for tornadoes is going to be that favorable on Wednesday, but I think our best chance will be across parts of Kentucky for maybe a tornado or two. Beyond today, the jet stream continues to stay well back up to the north. That dipping trough over the next few days will continue to bring severe weather. Dominating ridge in the southern plains will keep things very hot and warm for the southern plains. In addition to that, very dry. Once we go into the tail end of the week, we could have a large-scale low-pressure system in the northern plains. This could bring a pretty significant severe weather event somewhere in the Midwest or even up into the northern plains. So just be wary of that. And then once we get closer to the 4th of July weekend, it looks like things are going to be relatively quiet. But granted, that's still over a week out. So things could definitely change. Here's what it looks like as we go into that next storm by Friday. We could see some more significant severe weather out of this in the Midwest. So the Midwest is going to continue to be hammered by severe weather really over the next several days and also even into next weekend. So be prepared. Make sure that you're staying weather aware. We'll be live most likely today, tomorrow, and possibly even on Wednesday. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel and like the video.